the top 10 highest selling firearms at an auction, according to 247wallstreet.com. If you learned something new or enjoyed the video, be sure to click that like and subscribe button. Without further ado, number 10, Golden Colt Model 1849 Pocket Revolver. Chambered in 31 caliber, this cap and ball revolver is engraved with images of a bear, dog, leopard, pheasant, and fox. A wolf's head can also be seen engraved into the hammer of the gun, and this pistol is one of only six. The others were gifted to individuals like Russian Tsar Nicholas I and two others to the kings of Sweden and Denmark. The gun's craftsmanship, condition, and historical significance brought it a cool 1.1 million at an auction in 2012. Number nine, Henry Lawton's Winchester Model 1886. Serial number one. Chambered in 4570, this Winchester Model 1886 featured the serial number one. Not only was it the first of its kind, but this rifle was presented to Captain Henry Lawton by cattle barons in New Mexico after he accepted the surrender of famed Apache leader Geronimo. Lawton was awarded the Medal of Honor for his service in the Civil War, he ended the Apache Wars, and also fought in the Spanish-American War before being killed in action during the Philippine Insurrection. This rifle then went on to be sold at auction in April of 2016 and sold for $1.265 million. Number 8. Silver-Plated Colt Single Action Army for President Teddy Roosevelt Chambered in 38 long, this is one of the few firearms on the list that were actually owned by President Teddy Roosevelt. Four days after an attempted assassination on the president, this single action army revolver was ordered for him as he chose to never leave home unarmed again. This particular pistol features engravings by Colt Master Engraver Kuno Helfrich, as well as an ivory grip depicting a steer's head. In December of 2020, this pistol went to auction and was sold for just shy of $1.5 million. Number seven, the Milliken Dragoon Colt Revolver. Chambered in 44 percussion, the Milliken Dragoon series of Colt revolvers were ivory-handled presentation pistols. Tsar Alexander II and his family received three of these pistols. This particular pistol belonged to Union Army Colonel John Minor Milliken Jr. When Milliken was killed in battle, his son Paul went on to inherit the pistol. Paul also served in the Spanish-American War, and he served as the chief of police in Cincinnati. The firearm featuring an octagonal barrel and etchings of an eagle head, dog head, and a wolf head went on to be sold at auction for just over $1.6 million in May of 2019. Number six, Simon Bolivar's Flintlock Pistols. While the caliber does appear to be unknown, these two Flintlock pistols were made by, and I'm probably gonna butcher this one, Nicholas Noel Boutet, who also happened to be Napoleon's gunsmith. These pistols once belonged to Simon Bolivar, a revolutionary who was credited with leading the liberation of six South American countries from Spain. These pistols were gifted to Bolivar in 1825 by Marquis de Lafayette at the request of George Washington. These pistols are ornately carved and engraved featuring gold inlays and silver mounts. These pistols went on to be sold for just over $1.8 million at an auction in April of 2016. Number five, civilian Colt Walker revolver owned by a Danish sea captain. Chambered in 44 percussion, only 100 civilian Colt Walker revolvers were ever produced. This particular model remains in its original casing, which makes it all the more rare. It was first purchased in 1847 by Danish sea captain Niels Hansen on a visit to New York City. During the Nazi occupation nearly 100 years later, the gun had been buried in a garden in Denmark to prevent discovery by German troops. It then went on to be sold at an auction in April of 2018 for $1.84 million. Number four, George Washington's Flintlock Pistols. Chambered in 57 caliber, these two pistols were gifted to Washington during the American Revolution by once again, Marquis de Lafayette. It's been believed that Washington actually carried these pistols at the battles of Valley Forge, Monmouth, and the Battle of Yorktown, as well as the Whiskey Rebellion during his tenure in office. These pistols then went on to be inherited by Andrew Jackson during his presidential campaign. In an auction in January of 2002, these pistols sold for just shy of $2 million. Number three, Napoleon Bonaparte's five firearms and a sword. Chambered in 58 caliber, Napoleon Bonaparte was gifted a rifled carbine, two rifled carriage pistols, two pocket pistols, a sword and a scabbard. These weapons are all gold encrusted and feature carvings of Greco-Roman symbols. It is said that Napoleon himself actually gifted these weapons to Marshal Junot, and it's also said that he had been wearing the sword when the French government was overthrown in 1799. These weapons went on to be sold for nearly $2.9 million in an auction of December 2021. Number two, General Ulysses S. Grant's Cased Remington New Model Army Revolvers. 
Chambered in 44 caliber, these two revolvers having eight inch octagonal barrels were said to have been gifted to Grant after his troops took Vicksburg on July 4th, 1863 during the Civil War. The frame of the guns, as well as the ivory handles, have been engraved by L.D. Nimshk. The handles actually featuring an image of Grant himself, and these revolvers are very notable for their artistry and their historical significance, selling for over $5 million at an auction in May of 2022. Last but not least, number one, Pat Garrett's Colt Single Action Army Revolver. Chambered in 4440, this revolver had been used to kill the one and only outlaw, Billy the Kid, in New Mexico, July 1881. This revolver was not made of any special materials, nor was it engraved, but it is in very good condition. It is said that Garrett had taken the gun off Billy Wilson, another outlaw in the Old West, and had begun carrying it as his own, later going to auction in 2021 and selling for a price of just over $6 million. So there you have it, guys, 10 of the most expensive firearms that had ever gone to auction. Let me know in the comments if any of these actually surprised you, from the price to the story behind these firearms. If you feel like you learned something new, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button so you can stay tuned for more videos just like this. And as always, until next time, stay safe.